Today I'm showing you guys how you can create some nice looking YouTube videos with nothing but your phone. So we're going to start with a $0 budget, assuming you already have a phone. Then we're going to go up to about a $30 budget um, to just help improve your lighting a little bit. And then we're going to talk about a about $120 budget. Let's jump into what you can do with just your phone. All right, so this is setup number one. Now this is this is the $0 budget. This is just my phone. Now it's $0 assuming you already have a phone. And all it is is my phone propped up right in front of a window. So right behind the camera right now is just a window. Where and I'm just sitting in front of it. You just get this nice flat lighting. It's, you know, it's nothing special, but I'm fully lit up. I'm not dark and it's just some nice natural daylight. So it's bright enough that the camera doesn't have to jack up the ISO and it doesn't get all fuzzy and grainy. So if this kind of setup is all you can do, this can work perfectly fine. And this is just the same setup, but I flipped the phone around. So now I can't see myself, but I'm using the camera on the back of my phone, which is a higher quality. So it was a bit of a trade off there. You can choose the higher quality lens or you can see yourself. Um, you can also try and set up a little mirror or something like that so you can sort of see the reflection of your phone screen. But right now I have no idea what I look like. So that's the biggest downside with this. But if you have an older phone, using the back of the camera might be a better option because it'll probably be a much better quality than the selfie camera. And as you can see, this is just how I had my phone set up, just sitting right on that, <laughs> propped up against that glass right there. Uh, and this curtain just offers a little bit of diffusion. Uh, it's not necessary, but it makes the light just a little softer on your face if you have that option. All right, so now you want to throw a little bit of money at this. I'd recommend getting a reflector, which I have right here. Now, normally you wouldn't have this in the frame, but this is just so you can kind of see what it's doing here. So this is the same window from before, but now instead of having the light come directly towards me, I'm having it come from the side. So this is a more traditional lighting setup, similar to how you would light if you're using actual video lights, where you have your key light coming from the side, and then you have a fill light, or in this case, just a big white circle, filling in the other half of your face. And as you can see, I'm pretty well lit. Let's see if I take this down. Now this side of my face is much darker. Uh, you could still film like this, but I think it looks nicer to have something here. Now the reflector I'm using for this is pretty big, cost me about $40, but you don't necessarily need to buy one like this in order to get this effect. You can buy a smaller one for around $20 to $30, or you can even go even cheaper than that and go to Walmart or some craft supply store and just buy a big white piece of Bristol board and just hang that next to you. That'll, that'll get the exact same effect. Now I think the biggest downside to this one and the zero budget one is that you're very limited as to where you can film because you have to film right by a window and you can only film during the day when the sun is nice. So if it's really overcast or the only time you can film is at night, then you're kind of out of luck. That being said, this still looks pretty decent. Now let's do what I did before and I'll flip around and use the camera on the back of my phone so you can sort of compare. And here you go, this is with the the higher quality camera on my phone and this is what it looks like. Okay, let's take one more step up. All right, and this is setup number three. This is about $120 budget. Now this includes a cheap softbox kit. So you just get, you know, two video lights with soft boxes so that now you can have your own lighting and you don't have to rely on a window and the time of day and just the sun in general. Now you control the lighting. With this budget, you can also get a microphone now. So we're gonna go with something cheap. I would recommend either the Rode Video Micro, which is their cheapest little shotgun microphone, or Rode actually makes one that plugs right into your phone. You could use that one as well. I don't have one of those, so just for demonstration purposes, I'm just using my Rode Video Mic Pro. So this audio sounds a little bit better than what you would probably get out of the cheaper Rode mics, but it's a good representation. But yeah, this is obviously not as good as when I use an actual DSLR for my videos, and that's the main reason I do. But I just wanted to show you guys that it is very possible with not a ton of money to get a good looking result out of your phone. And this is me using a Huawei Mate 20 Pro, which to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the camera. If you have like a Google Pixel or a newer iPhone, that's probably gonna look even better. I think the they have better processing, especially the iPhone has really good colors. I'm not loving how this looks, but hey, it still looks decent, right? Like with just with some good audio and a decent video, I could make a YouTube video like this if I really wanted to. Now I already have a DSLR, so I wouldn't really do this unless, I don't know, it 
broke or something like that. But if I was just starting out making videos and I had a decent phone that, you know, was made in the past three, four years, and I didn't already own a DSLR, then I could definitely see myself recording videos with my phone. In fact, I've even done parts of vlogs before on my phone because I just didn't have my camera with me. There were a few people requesting this video, so if this helped you out, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. You can also hit that subscribe button for more content. I'm going to link all the equipment I used in this video down below. So I'm not going to list a phone because I'm just assuming you already have one, but I'll list the reflector, the light kit, and that uh, entry level road mic I was talking about. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.